Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Heat 2, Michael Mann teases filming on highly anticipated sequel. In a recent interview, Heat and Ferrari filmmaker Michael Mann revealed that he is pretty far into the process of writing a screenplay for Heat 2, a sequel to his 1995 crime classic. The book Heat 2, co-written with Meg Gardner, was released in 2022. The time jump in the book isn't 25 years, though, so even if Robert De Niro and Al Pacino wanted to get the band back together, it really wouldn't fit the plot. Instead, there are rumors that Austin Butler could join the cast, along with Adam Driver. Man is staying mum about those rumors. What he did offer is that he hopes to get Heat 2 into production at the end of 2024 or early 2025. A sequel made so many years later might seem like an odd choice, but remember this is the same guy who revived Miami Vice, the TV show that made him famous, into a movie decades later. Heat itself is actually a remake of L.A. Takedown, a made-for-TV movie man did with a fraction of Heat's budget and star power. I think that film, what they did with it, is something that inspired me a lot, Butler recently said, when asked about the possibility of joining Heat 2. I think it inspired so many actors, and I mean, to get to see De Niro and Pacino together for the first time in that way. It's such an authentic film as well, so visceral. But I think any opportunity to work with a master like Michael Mann is a gift to any actor who gets to work with him. As far as Driver, Mann worked with him on Ferrari, but stopped short of confirming that there are plans to do it again, saying only that they had a great working experience and had the same, intense work ethic. It's going to be a combination, of CG and makeup. And so, it won't be, Robert De Niro, and Al, Pacino, playing Macaulay and Hannah, Mann shared. And it actually starts eight years earlier than the movie. It starts in 1988, and then it's gonna jump to 2000. But I don't really know who to cast until I've actually written the screenplay, but I'm in the middle of writing the screenplay right now. And Warner Brothers have been very patient. The Heat 2 novel, co-written by Mann and Meg Gardner, Meg Gardner tells the story of everything that happens before and after to the film's principal characters. The novel jumps between two time periods, the first following Chris Sheherlis as he tries to evade LAPD and Detective Vincent Hanna following the bank robbery gone bad with the second taking us back to Chicago in 1988, when Macaulay, Chris Sheherlis, and their Highline crew are taking scores on the West Coast, the U.S.-Mexican border, and now in Chicago. At the same time, Hannah is cutting his teeth as a rising star in the Chicago Police Department chasing an ultraviolent gang of home invaders. The fallout from Macaulay's scores and Hannah's pursuit cause unexpected repercussions in a parallel narrative. Skyforce head coach Kasib Powell gets promotion from Miami Heat. The Miami Heat announced today that player development coach, Dan Bisacho, will join their G League affiliate as head coach of the Sioux Falls Skyforce. Additionally, former Skyforce head coach, Kasib Powell, will join Miami's staff as player development coach. Bisacho, who is currently serving as head coach of the Heat Summer League team, has recorded a 4-1 record with a 2-1 stint during the California Classic in San Francisco and a perfect 2-0 record so far during the NBA 2K25 Summer League in Las Vegas. He spent the past 10 seasons with the organization, most recently last season as player development coach where he mentored and developed players as well as assisted the coaching staff on special projects. He spent the previous five seasons as video coordinator after serving as assistant video coordinator for four seasons, where he helped the coaching staff and players with film breakdown, opponent and personnel scouting, statistical analysis, and game planning. Bisacho originally joined the Heat as a video intern for the 2014-15 season. Prior to joining the Heat, he spent two seasons at Marquette University as the graduate assistant-slash-video coordinator for the men's basketball team. Powell served as head coach of the Heat's G League affiliate, the Sioux Falls Skyforce, the past three seasons. 
he led the team to the playoffs in each of his last two campaigns, including the Western Conference Finals in 2023, and his commitment to development has led to an NBA best 21 players being called up over his three head coaching seasons. He was originally hired in 2016 as an assistant coach for the Sky Force, a role he held for four seasons before being promoted to head coach. Powell, who was inducted into the Sky Force Hall of Fame in April 2016, spent two seasons, 2007 to 2009, with the Sky Force as a player where he earned the 2007 to 2008 NBA G League MVP award after averaging 22.2 points, 6.0 rebounds, and 3.0 assists. His professional playing career spanned over nine seasons, which included stops in the NBA, the NBA G League, CBA, USBL, and overseas. Miami Heat general manager Andy Ellisberg offered some interesting insight into Jimmy Butler's future with the franchise. Butler is currently under contract with the Heat for the 2024-25 season and has a player option for north of $52 million in the 2025-26 season. He could opt out of his deal following the 2024-25 season to become an unrestricted free agent. Ellisberg also mentioned that Riley has challenged the team to get over the hump and win a championship, the one thing the Heat have yet to do in Butler's tenure with the franchise. It's a good sign for the Heat and their fans that Ellisberg believes there is mutual interest between Butler and the Heat to remain together beyond the 2024-25 season. Butler joined the Heat prior to the 2019-20 season in free agency after spending the previous campaign with the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Philadelphia 76ers. The impact of the six-time All-Star was felt immediately in Miami, as Butler led the Heat to the NBA Finals that season in the Orlando, Florida bubble. Even though Miami came up short in the finals, losing to the Los Angeles Lakers, it made an improbable run, knocking off the number one seeded Milwaukee Bucks in the process, showing that it could be a title contender with Butler leading the way. Miami Heat, possible trade for Lori Markkinen. Despite the Miami Heat being heavily linked to a blockbuster trade deal with the Utah Jazz for all star center Lori Markkinen, there appears to be no real progress in what could be a change of scenery for both sides. As it turns out, the Jazz appear to have their eye on a different player than the Miami Heat. According to NBA insider Shams Charania of The Athletic, the two teams have ongoing conversations about a potential trade deal. Shams then reported that while Utah isn't exactly against taking players as part of the deal, the Jazz seem more interested in another player, Shams said. Charania also added that the Jazz could be looking for three first-round picks in addition to the incoming second-year shooting guard, which is probably why the Miami Heat refused to budge. The report also indicates, however, that both sides are entrenched with regards to finding a way to make this deal work, so it appears it's just a matter of finding common ground for the Miami Heat and the Jazz. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Lori Markkinen? Leave your opinion in the comments.